You guys remember this car that we built a long time ago? It's been sitting a while, so the battery didn't want to hold a charge. Which, I mean, this paint is really good. So it really shows nice. That's the plan, I'm gonna change the color. Uh, I did flatten this down a little bit just to see how bad it was. This also shows you the original color of the car was black. And all this is in good shape. These will come off. Not a lot of headaches, no valve train noise. Paint jobs, still one of the most expensive things. Smack dab right in the center and really just stands out and pops behind all that red. All right, so that was a quick excerpt of this car. If you remember this car, I've owned it four times. I bought it, we did a build, sold it, bought it back, it did something else, sold it to my friend Jeff, brought it back. That's when we did the full color change and the engine build and all the titanium and all that kind of thing. After that, I was pretty much broke and I wanted to sell it and I needed to sell it. So we sold it and it went to Hawaii in 2021. Guess what? It's back. After about 45 days, it went from a truck to a boat, from a boat to a truck. It's done about 9,000 miles to get back to us. But here it is, the Red Integra is back. sold it to the customer in Hawaii, said the same thing, if you are gonna get rid of it, give me first shot. He called us, I couldn't really afford this car, but I couldn't say no, I had to figure out what to do. We got it back, it just came. So it's been to Hawaii and back. Can you believe that? That is such a trip for a car. And they did such a good job, look at it. I mean, it needs a wash and it needs a color correction again, but I mean, it, it's, it's perfect. I haven't even started it yet. This give you a backstory. If you look at the Turbo Magazine article, I built these brackets by hand in 2004. That bracket, the lower bracket, the one on the transmission right here, I was obsessed with the weight, trying to offset the weight of the Integra Type R. Whatever weight I added, I tried to remove weight to keep that compensation. Those are very special to me. This right here too, we had this made and then it was on George's car for a little while. When he sold his car, I got this back and then I put it on this car. I didn't want this to leave. Remember I did the red seat belts front and back? So the customer added this. We had a Sparco wheel, which was just the best wheel I could find. He added this, which is the Japanese wheel with the airbag. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and start this thing. <laughs> Let's go back. Air conditioning, power steering. I mean, this is the way to build a car. This is the UK Type R Dash. If you're not familiar with this, red line is 8,500 RPM, goes to 160 miles an hour, yellow needles. This again is another special part, not kilometers, miles an hour. Yes, in England, they still use miles an hour even though everything else that went to like the metric system used kilograms and who knows what. Look at this thing. Type R interior, Type R seats. This thing is just, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away that this thing is back. And again, came from Hawaii. It went to Hawaii, then it came back from Hawaii. This customer was good enough for me to give him half the money. I've never met this guy, but we have a relationship over the years talking back and forth we've talked on the phone he let this thing leave out of hawaii with me on a paid half that's the kind of relationship that's the kind of relationship that you don't want to mess up sebastian's my cameraman by the way right now sebastian say hi hi he's doing the camera work he's capturing what's going on right here
Doesn't that just look the part right there? It, it's Give it a couple of revs. Let's see that a twin loop exhaust that we built. I showed a full rebuild on this and this is all brand new. This is the best feeling shifter of anything. Hands down, the best shifter, all brand new B-Series parts. I showed this in the video. I'm just gonna take it to the end, take some pictures so I can use it as a thumbnail. But this is just like, I'm speechless. I'm trying to keep it fluid and trying to talk to you guys and let you know what's going on. But I'm like, I'm like a kid at Christmas. Or should I say, I'm like a kid the day before his birthday. All right, let's get some pictures right here. This is my backdrop. This grass and this fence and this power line and this tree. This is where I do a lot of my pictures. Let's get out and get some pictures and then walk around. pretty much an introduction to the car. I did buy it back. It is our car. Not sure what the plans are with it. It's one of those things, just instinct told me I had to have it back. If I can afford to do something, we do have plans to do something else with it. Right now, I can't tell you. Go ahead and comment in the description or in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you want to see with this car. I do want to interact with you guys. I do listen to the comments and see what you guys are looking for. This customer kept it in perfect shape, apart from it just being a little bit dirty. It looks just like when it left, he has made improvements. He's changed the steering wheel, put the Japanese Type R steering wheel with airbag, which is a much better wheel than I had because I couldn't find it at the time. He's put a better stereo in it, better alarm, and a few other things I'll go over on the next video on this car. But in the meantime, hopefully you're excited about this car as I am. This is like almost a strange feeling to have this car back. It's been gone for three years. It felt weird letting it go and now it's back. It's just, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. I'll put a link in the description, but so many of these parts that we bought for the car were the last brand new parts you could get. To give you an example, the headlights I bought brand spanking new in 2004 and kept them in the box until this build. The taillights I bought from Honda, they were the last two in the country. The quarter glass with the seal, same thing. They were the last two in the country. So many other rubber seals and moldings. I would call Honda and they'd go, wow, you're lucky. This is the last one. So many extra things went into this car. So many, obviously, uh, stainless parts, titanium parts, a lot of OEM parts. So many things that are so hard to get, which makes this car just as special as ever.